even know. Alright guys, welcome back to Fallout 3. This is Raven Fairwick, and we're in the Museum of Technology on our way to do a thing for Three Dog. Um, now, I did have some other stuff recorded that I was going to put out. Unfortunately, um, the weather, between the weather and a few other technical difficulties today, um, the audio has been bad in one, so I had to scrap that. The video got shot to shit in another one. Um, I don't, so I don't really know what, what's been going on. I've been having technical issues, it seems like, all day today. I've been trying to shoot half an hour worth of video, or, you know, or less, for about 15 hours now, and I'm about, I'm about done, <laughs> really. So, uh, to get you guys up to speed, um, still early in the game, I am playing a fist fighter, as you guys saw in the, uh, in the highlights and the clips that I did I already have found out that dad went to Rivet City uh, and then from Rivet City he went to the Jefferson Memorial from Jefferson Memorial he went on to Vault 112 I have not been to Vault 112 yet uh, I have done a lot of work on the Wasteland Survival Guide for Moira I was taking a break from doing that and came to GNR. Now, if you already know where Dad's at, that he has already been to Rivet City, and you talk to Dr. Lee when you get there, when you go to do GNR, if you wait until after Rivet City to do GNR and go 3-Dog, instead of him telling you, if you fix my relay dish, I'll tell you where your dad went, he will say, if you fix my relay dish, I'll tell you where this hidden cache of weapons is at, which is what we're doing, because we already know where Dad is. So, we're going to get the Lunar Lander dish and go put it on the Washington Monument and then go report back to Three Dog and he's going to tell us where this secret location's at. So, downside of this is, is I am playing on normal, I believe. Um, so, there's more enemies. I take more damage, kind of deal less damage. Um, and in the Museum of Technology, there is a whole lot of super mutants. And as soon as I put this uh, pit boy down from in front of my face, you will see there's one standing not too far in front of me, ready to kill me. And as you can see from here, I don't have a whole lot of stem packs, so this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so let's get through here and try not to get ourselves killed. Uh huh. Yeah, and my light has turned itself off again. Come here, stop running away from me. You're harder to kill when you run away. Oh, that's not good. And I don't think I have anything else that I can heal myself with. I think I'm out of Nuka Cola and. There we go. Now, the only thing I'm using as far as my weapons go, uh, I do have. My. Should be Spike Knuckles? Yes. My spiked knuckles that I'm using. Uh uh. You're gonna have to work for it more than that, buddy. Turn my damn light back on so I can see what I'm doing here. Alright. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here. Stop running away. Eh. Stop. I do not have the game modded. I love playing with mods. It's not that. Good lord. It's not that. Um. I wanted to. Play a run through for you guys, unmodded. Also today, I really wish. You know, those might come in handy here. Let me take those with me. That uh, should give me three of them. I really wish, and I think there was a mod for the halls of today. I'll have to check um, to open that back up. I want to say there was. I think my favorite mod of all. Oh, this is creepy. I want to say my favorite mod of all that I've used is the uh, the one where you have infinite ammo. <laughs> that makes this game a whole lot easier. Not that my fist fighters use any, but you know. Um, I have also been losing some of my recordings. You guys didn't won't get to hear about this, so I'll tell you now. I've picked up a bunch of alcohol 
just out of curiosity. I want to see what happens. Uh, I'll probably become addicted to it. I'm going to do this after I get to my house in Megaton. Uh, I'll probably get addicted to it. I have to go see the doctor about it. Um, but I wanted to see if, like, it throws your balance and all off. I usually just pick up the alcohol and sell it. I don't do anything with it. But I would like to know if, like, it throws your balance off or whatever. So we'll find that out. Okay, nothing in there. Shut up, you're creepy. Okay. Now the Lunar Lander dish is in here. Yeah. Let me think, where am I going here? It's not in this room, and I don't think there's anything I actually need in this room. Okay, okay, here we go. Now, let me go to the top, start up there, work my way down, because there are super mutants all over the place, and they just love to shoot me. You die. Yeah, that's really funny, isn't it? Uh-huh. But you were talking trash just a few minutes ago. Okay. Stop that. Be down there to kill you in a moment. Give me a minute. Now we actually need to be on the ground floor for this. Sometimes you can find... Stop for a minute. Even though this is disgusting. Sometimes you can find... Uh, healing stuff. Oh god, you scared me. Don't do that. Uh, sometimes you can find healing stuff, stem packs, whatnot. Mm-hmm. That's what you get. And... Uh, caps as you just saw in those gore bags. Those things are disgusting to me, but there is useful stuff in them. However, in a real life situation, if I saw something like that laying around, I seriously doubt I'd be sticking my hands in it. I don't care what was in it. This is not what I'm looking for. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh-huh. You started the fight. You shot at me first. Okay, so, nothing there. Now there should be, let me think, two? Two or three. That's not good, let's heal that. Two or three. And there's more. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. God. Really? Come down here and do that. I can't reach you up there. There should be two of them out there. There's a behemoth in here. We're not going to deal with that. There's also some secret stuff in here. You have to activate certain computers in the right order. There we go. That works. You guys are on the ground where I can actually reach you. You're tougher. Let me take you out first. If you don't murder me in the process. Okay, gotcha. Where's the other one? There you are. Come back here. What's so funny? Yes, you are wounded, aren't you? Alright. Take all of that so we can sell some junk off. I was gonna stop by- ooh! Yay, we leveled up! Awesome. That's a good thing. And these are my tag skills, the three that I just put uh, points into. Those are my tag skills. So that's why I would make sure no matter what, those go up by five every time I try to keep them at zero or, or five. Uh, as you can see, most of my skills I try to keep it at zero or five. So these threes are bugging the shit out of me, and that one is too. Um, let me see. But I don't use big guns. I do need to put a few more in my energy weapons. That's going to bug me forever. Uh, because I do use those just for the... Uh, I use those for... Um, when I can't reach an enemy. There's just absolutely no way I can get to him. Uh, or for like turrets that are too high up that I can't reach. Let me see. Swift Learner, Swift Learner. Iron Fist is always a good one when you're a... Uh, when you're a fist fighter. Comprehension I am going to need. That's going to make those books really, really good. 
Let's go ahead and take that. Done. Okay. That means all these nice books. I've got a few on me, I think, and then a bunch of them at home that I've collected. Okay. Grognat. That should... Yeah. Now, instead of everything going up by one, it goes up by two. That also gets a little bit of weight out of my inventory. And that should have gotten... Let me see here. Okay. Beautiful. Let's grab this dish. I don't think you have anything on you, do you? Not much. Let's grab this dish off of here. We're just going to yank that sucker off. Now, if you go down, I believe it's that hallway there. Let me see what it says. The planetarium. If you go down that hallway there, you can find you a behemoth. I, I want nothing to do with that right now. I already had to fight one on my own. I do not want to fight another one with super mutants going crazy. Um, shouldn't run into anything else on the way out. Should be fine. There you go. Put your hands up. Looks like a moron running around. So we are going to take this out. Should be up on the next floor. Take this out of here and get out from behind there. Thank you. I think. Jump over the edge here. We will come back to this later when I have more healing stuff and I'm a little more capable of surviving because there are there is a behemoth here that I do want to take down there's also the hidden stuff I believe that terminal is part of it you have to do them in the right order to get the secret thing unlocked and let me see I think there is a yes bending machine around the corner thank you and nothing behind it not even a plug that's amazing but we'll come get all this stuff later. There's a little trick too. If you know there's something outside, and I know there's a bunch of super mutants, hit the door, wait for it to load in, then hit your tab so that it'll pull up your pit boy immediately. Hopefully, we did it quick enough. I just seen one of the super mutants. Hopefully, we did it quick enough where we can get out of here and it's not going to say you can't leave because of. Um, Oh god, this is not good. I forgot I gotta run across oh to the Washington Monument. Okay. So leaving is not gonna do me any good. Alright. God, I have like nothing. Okay. Stealth boy's not gonna do me any good. Not much anyways. Okay. Let me get out of here. You might wear my bones around my neck, but your neck. <laughs> Whatever. I'm getting out of here. Uh, if you stick really, really close to the edge here, most of the time you won't activate most of the super mutants and nobody will know you're here. I am on my way to... Ugh! How did you see me? It must have wore off already. I'm also not sneaking, so maybe that has something to do with it. Please stop shooting me. Thank you. Now there are two Brotherhood folks over here that will start shooting at the Super Mutants for you. Let me in, please. Uh-huh. How you have this password, I'm just going to assume that 3Dog gave it to you. So, get me inside and get me away from you. Oh, I love that series. Okay, so let's take the let's take the elevator up the Washington Monument. Put this dish up there, and we will be done with that. I will not be playing the music, as I said, from GNR, which is a damn shame because I love listening to the music from this game. But I don't want to get slapped with content ID, so. I didn't put the music in the game, but I'm also, uh, I also don't hold any copyrights to any of the music in the game, so, um, we won't be listening to it. Yep, fixing to repair the relay. Thank you. Let's see. I believe we have to put it 
Do I have to put it up? Uh, no. It's been a while since I did this. I remember a lot of it. There we go. Install the dish. The dish goes there. I don't have to do it myself. Now if I turn it on... Oh, now my stealth boys wore off? Really? Because, you know, they were shooting me anyways. Okay, let me see if three dogs already started talking. <laughs> How do you know I can hear you out here in the ass end of nowhere? It's amazing that he got that information just as soon as I turned it on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut that off just because, um, like I said, I don't want to get slapped with content ID. Uh, let's see, we need to rest so we can get out of here. Oh, I'm all healed up now, thankfully. Uh, it would be really bad to jump out this window. I don't think it'll let you. I think there's one of those invisible wall things. Hey, there's some buildings freaking out in the background. That is just awesome. Uh, textures. But you can see the Capitol building across the way over there. Uh, you can also see that the mall is a big trench. And uh, yeah, it's not good. So I should be able to just go back to GNR. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not going to have to fight my way back in, but I probably will. And now we'll go back and tell Three Dog, We got your dish up, dude. Yeah, I don't want to listen to you right now. Thank you. Just the same. So, we go back up, talk to Three Dog. Why is my light off again? My light's off all the time. There we go. Hey guys, there's some uh, super mutants out there. You might want to go do something about that, huh? Or you just protect the inside of the building. Should I have some guys on the outside? You guys suck. And it doesn't do me any good to pick up any of their power armor at this at this time because they uh I haven't been trained to use it, so I can't even put it on. Alright, let's track down three dog. Where are you, sir? You are not broadcasting even though I just heard you broadcasting. Are you sleeping? Are you eating? You're not using the toilet. Yep. Hi. Hey, all right. How are the you talking to me like when returns. you're drinking? Hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about that military weapon. Yes, cachet. absolutely. This holotape contains the location of the weapons cache. I hope you put them to good use and keep up the fight. Remember to keep us tuned in while you're out there and watch yourself. So you can ask him about all this stuff. I'm not really going to. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad Thank to you. provide. It's actually a, a very safe place to rest and all even though you really anything coming through this door over here I believe it is belongs to three dog all everything from here up so you really can't well you could go through his stuff but I don't think they'd be too happy about it you don't really want to make enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel but um you can come in here rest um what's up Fenley yeah, 
You guys were in here protecting the inside while I was outside having to shoot the damn thing myself. Behemoth's ridiculous. That was a hell of a Thank you. Nice work. At least somebody realized that. 1 a.m. On the dot. That's amazing. Alright. So let's save this. Yes. And let's see. Ooh, wrong button. Wrong button. Let's see what happens when your character gets absolutely sloshed. Let's go ahead and read these books first. Get them out of the inventory. That ought to bring up my fist fighting quite a bit. And my lock picking, that'll help enormously. Did you get all caught up now? Alright. So, let's see, that's gonna lower my intelligence, because apparently when you drink, you get very charismatic and strong, but you get dumb as hell. So let's drink all this that we can and see what happens. Maybe I'll fall on the floor. I have no idea. Okay. No, nothing. I tell you what, if you actually drank all that much, you would have probably died, let alone passed out. Unbelievable. You would think that your vision would be swimming or you'd fall over on the floor. Or like if I push forward, I'd be kind of leaning over to the side this way or that way. Or, you know, that's just, that's amazing that I am able to drink that much and uh, be okay with it. So I'm going to do what... Everybody does when they've had too much to drink. I'm going to bed. Or I'm actually going to wait for the shops to open. Time for the alcohol to wear off. I'm now well rested as the alcohol wore off, so I'm not so stupid. Well, that's not going to tell me. I need the stats. Nope, my intelligence is still down. Huh. <laughs> I must have drank a lot of that. <laughs> Bottle of scotch, I think three or four bottles of whiskey. Uh, four, four, five, six, somewhere, bottles of beer, somewhere in there. Doesn't make me the most intelligent person. It also apparently doesn't make me have any problems with seeing or... Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. Thank you. It's all I have to offer you. No. Okay, this is something you. that randomly happens. And let me see if there's anything else I can do really quickly. I don't believe there is. Let's see what quest we've got. No. No. That's going to be a long walk, which I'm going to cut out. That is and isn't. That's kind of. Ugh, I don't want to deal with those flaming ants right now, though. Um. Yeah, the rest of these are gonna take a bit of time, so we'll just go ahead and wrap this up right here. Um. In the next video, I think what we will do, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start making my way to uh, Vault 112, which is out roughly in this area. Let's see. That's definitely not it. Uh, it's roughly out this way. And Girder Shade's also out this way. I'll have to I'll have to try to find it. Uh, I'll make my way out that way. I'll have a lot of fighting, but it's also going to be very boring. Um, I might record while I'm doing it, just so if something interesting happens, I can put that up for you guys. But more than likely it's just gonna be a bunch of fighting get there and then I'll go ahead with the next episode once we get to Smith Casey's garage so thank you guys for joining me and as always go find a game and keep playing <laughs>